Do you really need to watch your salt intake when you're trying to lose weight? Let's get into it. Welcome back to another episode of Walk With Me, everybody. This is Josh here, and today we're talking all about salt. Now, I remember back when I was losing weight, everyone always told everybody else to make sure and watch your salt intake, because too much salt can be bad for you and it can hinder your weight loss. And that was something I used to worry about for a really long time, because it's such a commonplace myth out there. The truth is the salt that you eat isn't going to affect your fat loss progress. And I'm going to preface all of this by saying, there are health issues that require you to lower your salt intake that can sometimes correlate with weight loss. But in this video, I'm strictly speaking about those of us that don't have high blood pressure or other concerns to worry about and are just worried about losing fat. The reason this is said so often, when you have salt in your diet, salt will actually make you retain water to an extent. But that emphasis is on water and not fat. So sometimes an excess of salt will make you hold on to a little bit of extra water in your body, but sometimes that can actually be a good thing. Having that sodium intake in your diet will help your body store glycogen, which helps repair muscles and fuel your muscles. So it really is something that's crucial, especially for those of you that work out. And bloating or other things like that are nothing you should be worrying about when you have regular salt intake in your diet. The only weight changes that really occur from salt intake is if you have a dramatic difference one day to the next. So say you go out to dinner, but you normally cook at home, that might cause your weight to spike but just having that salt in your regular diet isn't going to do that. If your sodium intake is consistent, your weight will be too. And obviously an excess of sodium and salt intake isn't ideal for your health, but if you're doing most of your cooking at home, it's nothing you should really worry about. It's very difficult for you to have too much sodium in your diet if you're cooking all of your meals yourself. If you have a job or a situation where you need to eat out couple times every day maybe that's something you should be concerned with but for those of us that are just eating at home and cooking our own food it's practically impossible to be using a dangerous amount of salt in your daily diet using salt in your home cooking is one of the most important things for improving the flavor of a dish and it's probably the number one thing people don't put enough of in their food at home especially if you're cooking lower calorie meals that usually have a little bit less fat or a little bit less carbs your meal is going to be a lot less satiating and if on top of that you're not using enough salt you're not going to have enough flavor you're not going to be full you're not going to be satiated so it's important to make sure you're using that salt when you cook at home and it's really not something you should be concerning yourself with unless you're a professional MMA fighter or bodybuilder or someone that needs to make weight for a specific event or date, any excess water you might be holding on to is not going to cause any negative effects to your fat loss. Losing fat from our bodies is what's important and it's not about losing the water from our bodies. So in summary, the point I wanted to make with this, don't worry about using too much salt if you're cooking most of your meals at home and don't worry about your salt intake when you're dieting unless you have some sort of other health concern that requires it. Salt is one of the most essential tools in the kitchen, especially when you have lower calorie meals with less fat and carbs. So stop worrying about the salt intake. We have plenty of other things to worry about when we're dieting. It's not a problem at all. But I hope this helps for a few of you. It was just a really basic idea I had in my head. I remember I struggled with this for a long time when I was losing weight. I, I always watched my salt, but I didn't really know why. After learning more now, I realize it's not necessary. So if this helped, please like the video. It helps the channel grow quite a bit and subscribe if you're not already. I put out new videos every Monday and Friday. But until next time, I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.